Rich, we were just talking a little bit about uh, BC. Um, you've done a lot of visual effects work. Yes. Uh, from Fantastic Four to The Matrix. You've been a part of it all. Yeah. Now you're Oscar nominated. Can you tell us a little bit about The Revenant and, and what it's like um, to be nominated once again? I mean, Gravity was up last year, right? Two years ago, two Gravity years. was. Wow, yes. two years already. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, I think we're just happy to be invited to the show. Um, we're, you know, excited that people are recognizing the work that we did on this and the all the artistry that went into it. Uh, it's not really meant to be a visual effects movie, so people wouldn't really know that it's there's a lot of visual effects in the movie. But um, so we're we're quite happy to, to the bear scene in particular is getting so much recognition. Yeah. I was just gonna say that one scene in particular <laughs> everybody's talking about is the bear scene. I know you're not allowed to touch on exactly what went down, yeah. um, but what do you think made this scene so different that everybody's talking about it? Uh, I think it's the filmmakers, honestly, uh, Alejandro and uh, Chivo, the DP, Emmanuel Lebetsky, uh, the context in which they're telling the story really is what's unique about it. Um, and the fact that it's one long take and you know we're not allowing the audience to really escape you're really in there with the actor uh, with the with the main character and you you know you're you're fully immersed it's very visceral it's very real it's very dirty it's very gritty and um, you know it's just it's, it's exciting and there's no escaping it other than closing your eyes or leaving the theater so um, if that's happening we know we've done our job too. <laughs> I mean it absolutely is I mean not only do you feel like you're a part of it and you're standing right there with them it's even to the point where you actually feel like you're getting cold because you're watching it and it's just it's totally encompassed you. Well that cold is a reality <laughs> as we all discovered being in uh, in BC and in Alberta so uh, yeah that's very real very wet and cold definitely. <laughs> now is that something you're used to or was it a bit of a culture shock for yourself? I think it was a culture shock for all of us. Yeah, I mean that that kind of extreme weather they sort of warned us about. Everybody geared up, you know. We all had our, you know, fully clothed, many many layers on every day, but you know, you're out there for, you know, all day long. You go out in the morning, we rehearse all day long, and then we have very short hours of uh, light that we would shoot in. So um, you know, we had to sort of accustom ourselves to being out in that kind of weather all the time. And you guys did only shoot in what they call the magic hour, right? We called it the uh, panic hour sometimes too. Uh, yeah, it was. It was better suited. <laughs> yeah, it was mainly in the in the dying light of the day. So we had probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of light, usually at the end of the day. That's insane. Uh, but you guys pulled it off, obviously, and you're here for the awards, and I personally hope you guys take it home. Oh, well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. It. I have one more question that I try to ask each of my guests. Okay. It's actually about your socks. Um, I believe that, yeah, I believe socks tell a lot about a person. I know you would have had to have quite a few pairs in VC. Uh, can you show me your socks? Can I show them to you? Well, they're just some black, short black socks. Is that an always thing for you? Short black socks? It really is. You know what? And why, why it is? It's, it's they're comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Yeah. And they match everything, right? And they match everything. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. I appreciate All right. It.